Well, we all go through a lot of change during our teens, but nothing like Becky Connor has. That is because for the last year, Roseanne's oldest daughter has been played not by Lisey Gorenson, who left the show to go to college, but by Sarah Chalk. And it's not the first time a sitcom has maneuvered such a switch, as the Roseanne cast well noted when introducing its audience to the brand new Becky. I cannot believe that they replaced that Darren. <laughs> It was a hit show. They knew they could get away with anything. <laughs> well, I like the second Darren much better. Great line for Sarah Chalk, who joins us this morning. Nice to have you here. Thank you I mean, very much. You joke about it, but I mean, obviously, this had to be a concern. Will the audience accept a new person in a role that's been on a on a hit hit show like this? Initially, that was definitely very intimidating because I think uh, replacing another character is much different than anything I'd ever done, and it comes along with a great deal of expectations. But I guess I just had to try and not concern myself with that and do my best. And w did you get any advice as far as you know, try to keep? Keep as much mm -hmm. maybe like the old Rose, like the old Becky before you know before you try to start things new. Yeah, exactly. They definitely wanted me to keep as much to the old Becky as possible. Yeah. Did Roseanne give you any advice on this? Yeah, she did. The whole cast and 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 the directors and everything were very supportive of me doing this, and so they they helped me along. And interestingly enough, though, um, so one person asked me if I had done like a Becky character study. They said that our mannerisms were very similar. And that was just by coincidence. Yeah. By coincidence. Yeah. Well, now, you come from Vancouver, right? Yes. So now you had to move to L.A. And I remember you said when you first came to the show, I'm not going to let my life change. I want to keep it as normal as possible. I'm not sure that's possible. <laughs> Moving to L.A. and being in the spotlight of a hit show, how was that first year? Well, I was anxious that my life would change because my, I just loved my life how it was, and I didn't want it to change too much. But I've really learned over the past year that, you know, change doesn't have to be a negative thing, and that my life has changed to a certain extent, but I've managed to keep... A nice balance going back and forth between Vancouver and Los Angeles. Yeah, you commuted back and forth so you could finish yes. high school, right? Yeah, it was really important to me to graduate with my friends that I'd gone to high school with yeah. all my life. So um, I, I went back and forth, and that, that got pretty challenging at times. <laughs> I'll bet it did. Taking now, they're all away at college now, and I know you've yes. gone and visited them, and you've taken mm -hmm. the year off, which is I took a year off to just do the show, and then you yep. plan on going to college later. In a tiny way, have you been envious of them yeah, <laughs> living that normal life away at school? Mm -hmm. it, it does look like a lot of fun, but I'm sort of getting my own version of it, going to visit them at, at their different universities. So I'm definitely, it's important to me to continue my education. But will you I do will it there back. in L.A., though, so you can keep doing both things? Yeah, I don't know exactly when and where I'm going to go, but it's definitely important to me. So to you won't leave to go away to college like Lisey did? You'll stay with the show? Yeah, so the show. <laughs> and now Roseanne, who is pregnant and who's getting married soon, mm -hmm. the doctors have told her she has to stay in bed. How, do, how does that affect you guys on the show? Oh, everything's going fine. She's taking precautionary measures. And you guys can write around would, but, that? But um, it's actually quite ingenious. They had her, one of the shows done from, uh, with all the scenes where she was in bed. So it's, it's working out great. You play the part of a married woman. Obviously, you're not married. You're 18. <laughs> but have you learned anything about marriage from being married to Mark? Uh, well, it's, it's, been, it's been fun because I sort of get a dry run at marriage at 18, but I don't really have to go through it yet. So. You get to experience all the problems of marriage That's right. and work it out in a script. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. Enjoy nice. you on the show. Thank you very much. Plain Becky, the second one to play Becky. When we come back, we'll talk about, uh, in our To Your Health segment, about some alternative medicine when Good Morning America continues here on ABC.